Greetings, Salem. Today we're in John chapter 8. Imagine having to go to 79th and Cottage Grove or 69th and Emerald. And it's at night, 11 o'clock at night. But not only that, it is pitch black. That would be an abysmal, dire, and grave situation. Here in John chapter 8, uh, the scribes and the Pharisees, they add it again. They're trying to get Jesus all caught up. And they bring to him a woman that was caught in adultery. And when it's all said and done, uh, Jesus asks the woman two questions. He says, woman, where are those thine accusers? And has no man condemned thee? And she replies, uh, no, Lord. No one has condemned me. Jesus said, neither do I. Go and sin no more. And we get to John 8, 12. Jesus makes a bold, universal, and powerful statement. Jesus says in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus the Christ, the light of the world. And in him, there is no darkness at all. God expects us to walk in him. When we follow after Jesus, we won't be dark. When we follow after Jesus, it's impossible to be lost. Jesus wants you and I to reflect his goodness. He wants us to reflect the light of the world. Jesus goes on the further state in John 8, that there's no darkness in him. So not only is Jesus the light of the world, he's saying that he's the light of the political systems. He's the light of the social systems. He's the light of the economic systems. He's even the light of the sports systems. He's the light of the whole world. And in him, there is no darkness at all. God wants you to walk in the light. Jesus expects you to walk in the light. And John says in chapter one like this, he says, in him is light. And that was a true light that lights every man that comes into the world. Let us pray. Holy Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you are indeed the light of the world. Thank you, Lord, for being our with us. Thank you, Lord, that you are on our side. Help us, Lord, to walk in your light. Help us, Lord, to reflect your marvelous light. Help us, Lord, to walk in the newness of life that we might have life, abundant life, the Zoe life that, that lives forever. Lord, have your way in our lives as we march toward this Resurrection Sunday. Lord, that men, women, boys, and girls might see Christ through us. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.